suns, an amber alert instantly gets <laughs> triggered because he's a roundy little Mexican dude and he's got grandsons that are red haired with freckles. <laughs> mm-hmm. no. I thought that, that was rather amusing. But Apparently you did not. In a perfect world, is anything really amusing, Miss Mary? Is anything at all amusing? Actually, actually, in a perfect world, everything is freaking amusing because you're supposed to be amused. You're supposed to be enjoying life. You're supposed to look around and go, whoa, did you see that? That's freaking cool. In a perfect world, mm-hmm. everything is supposed to be, whoa, well, that's cool, or... Well, I'm going to kick back and relax, and everybody's going, you go for it, dude. That's a perfect world. Wow. But we do not live in a perfect world, because yeah. a lot of times when you say, dude, I'm going to go and kick back, relax, somebody else goes, you lazy fucker. Wow. <clears throat> well, if we're live, nobody mentioned it yet. <laughs> this, <laughs> this is Flash. Yeah, Rob <laughs> works said red hair and freckles. Okay, but... <laughs> All right. he, he said I should be amused, which is why I went on the tangent. And I'm entertaining you this week with my co-hostage, Miss Mary. Yeah, he never tells me when we're live. <laughs> he just lets me go on my little rants and raves, and then you guys get like half the conversation. So it's like, my computer what? came with an internal clock. Anyway, <laughs> look what we could do, Grib, all by ourselves. Hey, he gave us you are live in print right there for us to see. Realtormedia.com chat. Alive. You want to <laughs> you want to bot- body these refugees from uh, what is that? Facebook. Facebook. You know, our, isn't book, fascist it, book? You know, it's got so damn many names to but it. Isn't it the point of being on a smaller site to get away from the bigger site. See, it's kind of like immigration. <laughs> what <laughs> would I know about that? Like, uh, you wouldn't know a damn thing. But you go on a big site like that and you go, whoa, everybody's in my business. Y'all are acting like you freaking midgets in an elevator. I'm going to go to a smaller site. And you know what? There's some people that actually take that mentality from the big site into the smaller site. Mm. And then there you go. Ah. It's like, you have to tolerate me. Uh, no, excuse me. Mm. I don't have to tolerate mm. anything. Damn. I, don't have to I think the you medicine's taking make... over. You're not my boss. Barbie! <laughs> <laughs> wow. We've lost Miss Mary for just a moment. She'll be right back. Sit tight, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, the, the, the whatever that stuff is that you're doing, the non-pill mm-hmm. thing, it works the same. It's like you're taking drugs. Well, see, that's what I keep trying to tell people. I don't need drugs to be like No, this. you absolutely I'm like don't. I'm naturally. No, this is a result of your chiropractor. Well, some of that is that, yeah, because the signals are are shooting up and down the spine, and, and my brain's going, what? What? Uh, See? <laughs> it's like trying to speak Danish with a, an American accent. You know, it's about the same as trying to speak English with a mouthful of food. <coughs> it's rude and insulting. Like, <laughs> you would sound like Marlon Brando in The Godfather, then. My man is at the top, then. Yeah. Did you know that he actually shoved shit in his in his cheeks so that he would have that weird? Oh, yeah, yeah. He was cotton. Yeah. Balls of cotton yeah. put in his cheeks so he could be Don Vito Corleone. Mm. Yeah. I wasn't you? there. I was still. Hmm. But it was a good movie. Anyway, Barman. <laughs> Barman. It's the barman. Hey, everybody you don't want to say hi to anybody today, do you? I wonder if barman would get excited if everybody belled up, bellied up to him. <laughs> he might get squished. Boobs. The barman is here, okay. and he's a way cool bot. Really, really honest and for true, he is. And we got Beetle. 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 How you doing, Beetle? Beetle. Hope you're doing splendiferous. Cowboy Tech is also hey, here, the one that always Tech. hears pleasant voices, and I hope you continue. Don't ever get your hearing checked or adjusted. Keep hearing them pleasant voices. You the man. You the, you the goddamn keep, man. Keep your eyes I open also, when you drive, though. 
Well, yeah, there is that. Free that, advice. That is, yeah. I try to make my yeah. free advice at least worth hearing. You know what just came to my mind? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got all these signals. Grimner! So, oh, no. I have so, no idea what came to your mind. <laughs> how, how are we going to have famous movie lines like, read my lips, if everybody's wearing a mask? I don't know. Wow. What are the deaf people going to do? Well, they can't... They can't. Lip that's read, what, yeah. this, this is deafest. Yeah, All this deaf, shit there you go. Deaf, it's deafest because yep. they're not letting the deaf people communicate. Those that read lips, it's bullshit. Wow. Take your mask off so deaf people can read your lips. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, the 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 flow is going, and you never know what it's going to because. Wow. Because when it gets slow and good, yeah. all kind of shit gets washed up. We noticed. <laughs> <laughs> Grimner! <laughs> Grimner! Grimner, the RLM god, is here, as well as the lovely Moose Goyle. I also see the lovely Miss Kate from Florida oh, is here, as mm. well as Anti. He's got a little ant eye. Ant eye. Mm. Okay. Ouch. Ant eyes, they have antennae. Mm. And then they have eyes, not to be confused, because the antennae is ten eyes, or kind of, sort of, it's frequency-wise. Wow. Bitch, you didn't know that. <laughs> I was hoping I didn't know stuff like that. <laughs> have some explaining to do to the wife, I'll tell you. Hey, Lucy. No, it's like, wait, where did you find this out, and why were you looking for it? <laughs> <laughs> my wife knows the true laziness that I have achieved in my later days. Hmm? Ah. That's right. You're she, a lazy connoisseur, uh, huh? She's a witness to my evil crimes. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha. Uh -huh. yep. In any case, moving back to, did I say Chloe? Hi, Chloe. We also got Chalsa Denise. The O fell out again. I hate when that happens. Damn it. Yes, you do, I know. Damn it. Oh. Oh, my imger is not oh, loading. Bummer. I took some pictures of the flooding out here. Oh, wow. Yeah, Cuz across the across the highway from me is yeah. the grain elevator. Yeah. And we got three and a half inches of rain last night. And it just to let you know how hard it rained, which if my phone will do it, if it won't, I'm going to have to hook it up to the computer and upload that way. Hmm. But in any case, there's aeration tubes over there that they you know, a lot of times have them in their grain pile to keep them from getting too hot. It circulates air mm -hmm. so that grain doesn't get too hot. Mm -hmm. And I mean, like, probably 40 foot of aeration tube washed over the highway and into my north drainage ditch. Wow. Just washed it. Wow. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. And and there's another chunk about as long that's laying right along the highway on the other side of the highway. So now, that, like, that's not a building problem, is it? Well, yeah, you got tornadoes and shit out there, right? So there's probably well, not yeah. much you can do to protect it from a tornado anyway. So yeah. No, well, it's out in the, out yeah, in the open. But, right, so yeah. that's probably why the second-rate you know, building... Well, no, because the aeration tubes, as they work on the grain pile, because what they're doing is they're moving the corn yeah, to but the ethanol plant and whatever. And so as they decrease the pile, then they free up aeration tube and they move it off to the side. And the rain came so hard from that property that it filled up the ditch on that side of the highway, on the north side of the highway, and washed it across the highway and placed it in my north ditch on my property. <laughs> so, this shitload of water. I mean, out here, we don't, you know, we're high desert area. <laughs> I was just reading a link about the Wizard of Oz today, too. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, well, related to it, yeah. More about the the book than the More film. More about that later. Yeah. But, yeah, it's <laughs> just, well, you bring this up, and I'm thinking, wow, just like the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> It is kind of, sort of. We do get naders out here. In any case, Damn Van Meter is here. Hey, Miss hey, Donna. Damn Van Meter. Ooh, silver's up 7%. Sweet. Okay, Whoopie squirrel. Doopie. I also see Flash is here. Hi, Hey, Flash. me. Hello. Frumpy Week. Canada. <laughs> from, 
Frumpy Weck. Weck. Oh, he went and put a vowel in there for me. Thank you, Frumpy. Frumpy Weck. <laughs> I'm here, kind of, sort of. Boy, no, there's me. more of you here today than usual. It's like oh, you're entertaining okay. for four. Well, I'm I'm entertaining all of those that reside inside my head as well because they're all going. (laughs) I know. (laughs) (laughs) The endorphins are just kicking the shit out of each other in there, huh? Yes. Well, they're having a party. A party, a war, something kind of activities going on that's usually dormant. Yeah, okay. see, and then I put headphones in, so yeah. it can't just seep out my ears. Your imagination. So it's all trapped in there. Trap, <laughs> trapped in headphones with your imagination. Whoa. That would be a perfect world. <laughs> <laughs> for, for a mental patient, maybe. <laughs> well, at least I go, get the yeah, good I meds. Don't feel alone. <laughs> yeah, be, and they get all the good drugs, be comfortable. The life. See, and I don't need drugs to be like this. I'm just, yeah. <laughs> Hi, Meister Brower. Woody. 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 Rob Wikes is here, and he's Rob partying. Wikes. Dork meds. That's right. Uh, that this is, these are my darkular meds. Uh, Woo. I'm even dancing now. Hot diggity. I also see SLC Mike is here as well hey, as Mikey. Was- no one thrust. Van no Peter one. Is, hey, we got a double dip, Adonna. Adonna double dip. Oh, my. Oh. All you men folks. We are very three, popular today. Three. Yes, Miss Van Mita is very popular. The unwashed oh. masses love us very much. Oh, we love you a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Dork meds. I wonder what, wonder what that would really ah. be. Rob's in, oh, entertaining for- us. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. So red is for gas, yellow is for diesel, green is, or blue is for kerosene. I don't know, Moosey. Out here, green is for diesel. Hmm. Moving along. See, squirrel. Squirrel. Hi, Miss Vanna White, the letter turner of the r alum and num 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 channel. How you doing? And uh, I also see, I also see. W4DKV has come between Vanna and Weather Dork again. Will he never learn? Damn him. Inquiring minds would like to know. I also see the Phantom is here. The Phantom. Hi, Phantom. <laughs> the Phantom. Not the Phantom. CC 66, <laughs> as well as Chloe E. Just Chloe a double E instead of a single E. Chloe E. We got a cyborg noodle. May you be hey, cyborg and you noodly touched. Hey, how could we have or a cyborg neuter neuter, but we don't have a, the uh, other guy that goes with it, the sock puppet. That cyborg and neuter was a his bot. I'm a very confused well. operator now. <laughs> You you sound like Inspector Clouseau. Oh, bummer. <laughs> that is not a mad dog. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, and say, I, I interrupted you again. No, I liked your Inspector Clouseau. I that was really, no very idea. good. Just playing around. You done good. Well, it didn't you make sense good. that Cyborg Noodle, who I thought was Sock Puppet's bot, is here. But there's no sock puppet here. Huh. Ha. Hmm. Hmm. We also got an N Civ in the chitty chat. As well as Frumpy. 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 And looky there, we got we a JJ's nine J's nine J's in Scotland. Scotland. Yeah. Keeping Frumpy. those Scottish balls clean, I'm hopeful. Uh, it By would be nice. God in country. Well you gotta mask your balls now out in Scotland. Or is that just your face? I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, is it Scotland as well as Ireland? Because I have a friend in Ireland, and she is just absolutely livid because now they're saying that children must wear masks in school and everything, and and no recess, or because they're concerned about the COVID getting them at recess. Apparently, you know, when you play at recess time, that the COVID is waiting behind something, and it. Just waiting to nap. Yeah, this horrible, deadly, man-killing epidemic. And that. Anyway, hey, did you know that? It is such a bad disease that you have to be tested to know if you have it. Yeah, you got to make an appointment. And yeah, it's so critical. You could wait for hours for the test. Yeah, yeah, fuck you people. Come on, get grow a pair, will you? Anyway, the reason I was uh, even 
come back to it was Scotland went with the mask. And then England, uh-huh. to not cause a divide and conquer between England and Scotland and give Scotland that chance to get out of the, e, yeah, the, the, Scot, the British crown, they want out, but they can't get out. So what they're saying is they're using the mask as a way to keep the unity of the island. Fuck, what a ah. bunch of morons. Man, they're just killing people off is all they're doing. You'll see. Wait, we got more names here, don't we? Yeah, we Oops, do. Yeah, sorry. We, do. we got a Matt WJ2002 in the Chitty Chat. Hi, Chitty Matt. Chitty Chat, WJ. Matt. <coughs> Excuse me. I got choked up. We got a Papa Papa Pond Sauce. See, Pond Sauce is who I thought was Sock Puppets, but I don't, I don't know. See? I don't know. I'm confused. Hmm. I, I'm too. We also got a Smart Ass, the hmm. smartiest Smart Ass ever. Hmm. And the holiest Roger mm. ever, mm. ever. And then to round out the crew, z mm. That is the chitty chatters of the Ara Lumma Num. Ah, uh, and like I have said earlier in the show, tonight's episode is called Run for Your Life. Run, Forrest, run. Well, I don't really know much about this Forrest guy, but... I'm just thinking about average Joe out there. He just lost his job. There's no work. There's people rioting and all this drama, 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 fucking drama. What what happened to him or her? Where are they? I don't know because I'm still trying to figure out how a forest runs. Okay, Mary, but you got to realize, real in the cities, there's got to be victims of this six month old now, give or take. Right? Yeah, um, pretty much. Collapse of the U.S. dollar is what it really is. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, what? it's not a it's not a it's not a popular thing to talk about. People do not want to hear this part. They think it's crazy. You go, no, you don't know what you're talking about. I got a pack of cigarettes and a beer right here. I bought it with my own money. What are you talking about, weirdo? And there you go, because you can't explain to them that we're all living in debt, and it's just crashing. It's not. It's not a virus. It's it's numbers. It's mathematics. It's spending. It's not spending. But if you listen to Grimm's show last night, he told us about the very thing that's going on right now and how they did it in the 1920s, and it happened the same way, different, um, slightly different expression, but. Collapse. Same thing, only different. Controlled collapse. Uh huh. Why? Because they can. That's why. Then why is it so hard to get the point across to other folks that don't want to hear it? Because they don't want to hear it, you big silly. <clears throat> well, I mean, there's got to be more to it than that. I'm no, just stubborn I and I'm not going to listen to you. That doesn't mean anything. We do uh, that I about think voting. There's an awful lot of people that have decided that they are giving up on adulthood, mm. and oh. every response now is going to receive a nanny, nanny, boo, boo, stick your head and dog do. That's what I really think is going on. There's just entirely too many people that are sick to death, or as Bill Cosby said in his routine, I'm sick and tired of the bullshit. Sick and tired. Yeah. Because you can't just be sick. You have to be and tired. Oh, it's a pair. Hmm. Yes. I didn't know that. Well. Yes. Well, see, because Cirque is still working in in uh, finance, basically, insurance. Mm-hmm. So whenever I go on one of my moments and, and mention that, wow, we're in, we're coming up in on a big shitstorm globally somehow because of all this money. And uh-huh. I see her roll her eyes like she knows something I don't know about where I'm at. Like we're in some kind of magic land that the rest of the world could disappear and we'd be okay with it. I don't. I haven't lived here my whole life, so I, I only see it from a narrow perspective. And she went off to the mainland on a ferry today. Okay, there's a... I'm not going to do it. What? Am I going to do what? Gay joke. Oh, no. Good, because uh, <laughs> they're trying to encourage um, some kind of 
commerce in this country, so they gave up the ferry tickets to get you to go places. Ah. And her sister and her brother have a country place on the beach for the summertime. Ooh. So, yeah, so the, you know, the kids went back home, so Sir said, ah, I'm going to come out and spend a night out there. <laughs> it's pretty nice. they got a little, little cottagey-looking house, and it's on the, the beach. Because life is a beach. No, because see that's the, when you get sand in your crack. But when your culture or your 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 area that you reside in doesn't go stupid and insane with all this drama over a fucking flu bug, then life isn't changed. But I think things coming down from the future, that's going to change a few things, but not for a bit. They're taking it slow. They're really. They're taking it real slow here. Mm. Mm. Well, and that's, yeah. I just, every time I see this shit about all this coronavirus and mm-hmm. this and that, and, that, and I keep telling them, look at Sweden. Look at the look, look at the metal at, prices. Look yeah. Look at South yeah. Dakota. Yeah, and look at the metal prices when they do talk about these things at the, at the time they talk about it. See if the, what they're trying to not have you look at. Because your your silver well, investment got took a beating, but because of the market today, it's coming wow. back. Well, yeah, but it's coming back in you know dollars. Oops. So it's not the dollars you you need to be concerned with. It's silver. <laughs> well, I have silver. Okay, physical, but you know if it's not mm-hmm. physical in your hands, shit could happen right now. It's a terrible world out there. And if Grim, oh, and Grim yeah, was, they say do not have like precious metals on paper, like going through the stock market and investing <laughs> silver and, yeah. and gold and stuff. Don't do it that way. Get the actual tangible. Mm-hmm. Which I'm thinking about getting some copper too. I think. I have no idea. You know, I have no advice for people that play the commerce game, because I I would play the black market game if things crashed here. Well, see, to me, having silver and having copper, those are both their colloidal elements, their colloidal mm. metals. Mm. And so yeah. they're not just means of uh, finance. They're also things that can be beneficial for your health. Mm. So, Well, I think a lot of the older Danish people have held on to some of the shit they grew up with. They didn't get it taken away from them. You know, like our history was rewritten. Through our lifetime, we saw shit one way, and then 40 years go by, and they write it a whole different way. <laughs> and that's not what happened. <laughs> Shut up. We don't talk about that here. Yeah, I know. We don't talk about those things. La, 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 la. Which, by the way, what? happy mm-hmm. birthday in comedy land, Robin Williams. Oh, is it really? Okay, we're yep. in July. Did I didn't even mention that we're on the... Uh, the 21st day of July, 2020. July. Yeah, last night. So Grim does a show on 20, 2020. <laughs> 7, 20, 20, 20. I thought that was kind of cool. But his topic still, it kind of stuck with me because it's so huge. And it's so obvious how few people, I'm not claiming to have any great insider knowledge, but it seems very black and white to me, this whole Federal Reserve banking structure, and it still has a lot of, uh, what do you call it, the flag wavers will not appreciate you talking bad about these things, because they don't really know what you're talking about. No, because very few people actually understand finance, Mm -hmm. or stock market, or how it comes about. Right, so my side of it is, it's all bullshit. There you go. Hmm? But there's people that play in it, make money, make, they make a living doing it. So to them, it's real. And I think, whoops. <laughs> Whoa. Well, no, because there's some people that, that mm-hmm. uh, even though they make a living in it, they know it's bullshit. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not saying everybody's cut from one slice of cheese. Oh, no, no, no. There's a variety. It's just that some of the cheese is starting to stink. 
this you know the cheese that just sits in one spot all the time and it doesn't doesn't get around it doesn't go outside doesn't enjoy so, anything it's like turning mm, brown so it's it's like that cheesy toe jam and I'm starting, stuff yeah like monster cheese that's turning into lin uh, uh what is it linworst going to put it on my boycott list Stinky cheese. Yeah, I think I'm going to boycott stinky cheese, too. Right up there with Israel, oil, fracking, <laughs> GMOs, no. fluoride, Israel. I don't want any stinky <laughs> cheese, either. I'm just, I'm, I'm, yeah. What? I'm allergic to stinky cheese. Well, I'm refusing <laughs> to be an adult. Because I, I called this, this you know how you write little notes to kind of cover what mm -hmm. we, we were talking about. I call this facing your adulthood, this whole er area. And I don't want to face my adulthood. What are you, nuts? <laughs> Let the adults do that. They're doing a shitty job. They're killing off a lot of people. So I don't trust them. You know with the changing of just one vowel. Hey, Miss Vanna, are you listening? With the changing mm -hmm. of one vowel, you go from being an adult to being adult. Ah, 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 that's my favorite insult word. And, yeah. I call There's a fellow a adult of... now and again, Miss Mary, on the RLM chat room. When I get you feisty do? with my words. Yeah, I don't like calling people, a, you know, you stupid motherfucker. I, I like catchy little things like dolt or moron, idiot. Uh, idiot always. Anybody that called me an idiot got the upper hand because that. Ooh, there's a word I just... Yeah, don't call me that. <laughs> Who wants to be known as an idiot? So, I'd rather use that than what's... And it's acceptable to cuss and use foul language. And we're grown-ups. We can act as stupid as we like. Nobody gets... Yeah. yeah, you can say anything that you can live with. As long as you don't shoot anyone, it's just typing. But, some of my uh, snarky little... <laughs> I enjoy them. I'm bragging about how witty cool I can be, Miss Mary. Well, mm -hmm. oh, Grimmy said somebody can be the village idiot. And you know what? It is something that I know a few people that are aspiring for that position. A few? Ooh, ouch. A, a few. <clears throat> Wait, <clears throat> but it's here. village idiot singular. Miss Mary. Yes. Not and, plural. You know, there's only one position mm -hmm. available, wow. and there's an awful lot of people applying. Mm. So I'm going to get my lawn chair and a beverage and some popcorn, and I'm going to watch. Oh, it's like that the episode of uh, the Black Knight where the Joker busts in on all the bad guys. <laughs> anyway. Oh, and I was thinking of the Black Black Knight and Monty Python. It's only a flesh wound. Oh, yeah, same thing. <laughs> Come back and fight, you coward. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, see, that that's all. That's a stupid way to be. Is what they're trying to show you. Is the smart guy doesn't continue to, to lose parts. <laughs> yeah. And then they just step around you at the end because you've got no legs or arms. Ooh, it's horrible. A lot of well, vets a lot of vets came back that way. Too many, as far as I'm concerned. People missing body parts and what the fuck are these people doing over there? You know, when you Why you're, are they losing body parts for some banker? That's what well, I want yeah, to know. When your job but, when you your know, job telling them that costs ooh. you an arm and a leg for real, Mary. Yeah, no Shh, shit. Are you kidding me? You're paying that to get a job. No. Keep your money. Well, that's part of the job. Keep your money. Yeah. I'll be painting fences with Jose down at Lowe's <laughs> or whatever that yeah. uh, Whatever store they got running now. Do people still get laborers? I don't even know. Wow, I've been away for so long. I don't know. I don't think there's don't anybody... Know. There's nobody taking this too seriously, like in a panic yet. So I'm I'm okay. But my hey. my peers call me paranoid because I think the world's going to end tomorrow. Hey, you know what? Yeah. I just had something pop into my head. Uh oh. I I think we should all be homeless because you don't hear any COVID rates among the homeless. 
Oh, I've brought that up. I think being up. homeless is, I think COVID is scared of, scared of homeless people. No, it, it just proves, this, proves that it is a hoax. Because if it was true, we would have lost the homeless people in the first two weeks. Yeah. They had no because protection at diet all. And Zero. Poor yeah. sanitary conditions yep. and all that. Yep. Yeah. But they're thriving because they've got the special radiation from eating the rat shit. <laughs> I mean, some the oh. government's going to say something like, come on. When they address that particular problem and, and bring it to light, yeah, how come this didn't kill any of the homeless off? <clears throat> what? <laughs> oh, Grimmy wants to know what about among the homely. You know, I also know some people that when they were a child, their parents tied a bone around their neck to get the dog to play with them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, and I'm not kidding there either. I actually know someone. That, oh, yeah. ah, that's mean. That is very mean. Stop being mean. Mean. <laughs> Me telling you to not be mean. That's funny. I know, and yet it is. It is somewhat. It's very amusing. mean. That's what I mean. Those cutting little. You don't say "fuck you, asshole." You say something nice. That's really not nice. It's pleasant and it's clean, but boy. Could you not say that again? <laughs> wow. Don't you have any real enemies? you got to pick on me. What am I, an experiment? I, no. Or? I don't have any enemas. Let's, All I have is a douchebag. <laughs> let's experiment with words. Oh. Well, we were talking about being homeless. Now, where would a yeah. douchebag and a homeless come into play? Hmm. I guess they could use them as water bottles for eating. <laughs> <laughs> with their grocery cart. Where do yeah. they get the hot water from, though? Who says you have to have hot water? For a hot water bag? Like, what do you call it? Oh. Nature? <laughs> I, I don't argue. I only argue with men and women. I never argue with nature like some kind of lunatic. Oh, no, no, no. Men no, it's are not often. It's wise to argue with Mother Nature. But men and women are often wrong. We make mistakes. We change our minds. Things change. But nature. Change is so slow, you don't see it. I mean, wow. Well, I think minds, like diapers, should be changed very frequently. Oh, we planted two trees out in the backyard I think, last um, last spring. Not this, so this is the second second year we got plants growing that survived our mishandling and nature, and they're still alive out there. And you know what? Sure. And you know what? This is the time in history, the deadliest plague of all mankind. It kills everything. Fruit, nuts, weirdos. And it's called the coronavirus. And it hasn't got me yet. <laughs> that was because I smoke a pipe. Ha, ha, ha. So... I think you'd have to. I think you have to believe in all this stuff in the first place. Well, yeah, and you have to remember that there's a little lie hidden hmm. in plain sight inside every belief. Yeah, well, they got you distracted with this negotiating a mask or not, like it's an issue, right? Mm -hmm. There's no question about this. This is black and white, just like. Uh, hmm. Let's try something else in life. Wow, there isn't a whole lot of stuff in life that's black and white. Usually it is gray. Oreo cookies? I don't like Oreo cookies. I don't either. And I think they sell them here, too, at the uh, the local, what do you call it, corporate fiat transport building. <laughs> grocery. Ah. Grocery. You know, groceries are, are technically illegal. It's illegal to do this. So you know what? how they do it? Uh -uh. They go to the mafia and they get a license that lets them do it. See? So the only people that could stop the grocery store from operating legally are the police, who would be sent there by the people that really own them. <laughs> not you, not me. And here, so the, they don't even have so any the police. The mafioso is the ones that have Jack and Jill's grocery? Yeah, 
because somebody's got to, you got to go to something to get this license, right? And all you're doing, oh. it's the same as, it's the same as like, uh, racketing, racketeering. You go to Vito and Vito, you give him some money and he'll make sure nothing happens. And if something does happen, <laughs> Vito will take Rocky and they'll go with a baseball bat and recover your funds. Vito Corre- yeah, Corleone. Shit like that does really exist, but not the way we're taught in life. It, it's, well, very few things actually exist the way we're taught. Hmm? That's why right. they have to keep teaching us, because our bullshit meter goes, <laughs> <laughs> wrong answer. <laughs> what have you learned lately? Anything good? Um... um <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to think of what I have learned. Hmm. Um, n- nothing that is just kind of jumping up and grabbing me right now. Hmm. But you too notice that the homeless people are getting absolutely no uh, written press or links or any any uh, attention about this COVID yeah, shit. Or- like homeless shelters. They don't have news crews at homeless shelters with a bunch of people. I mean, seriously? How are you going to pass out ma- Oh, oh, I went to see Lisa B. Mm-hmm. yesterday. Mm-hmm. She had a couple of customers that come in, a couple of her ladies. And one of them is, you know, one of those most definitely, you must wear a mask. And she told Lisa when she scheduled her appointment, and Lisa knows in order to keep her license, blah, 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 blah. So she always keeps a mask handy. So when this gal showed up, Lisa had her mask on. And this gal looked at Lisa and said, I see you're wearing your mask. Where's mine? (laughs) No. And Lisa looked at her and said, "Uh, you're supposed to be wearing your own. No, you're supposed to supply it. Uh, said, Excuse wow. me, but you walked into my home, my business, my salon without a mask, and now you want me to provide you with a mask that's in my home, my business, my salon. Apparently. That's what it sounded like to me. Well, and the worst part <laughs> was her uh, sister-in-law was also scheduled right after her to come in. And... Uh, they were both wanting perms because they've gone so long without having perms, and so now they they have to. I must have a perm, but they just berated her horribly. What's the point of all you that? You know, and though? telling her how heartless yeah, she is yeah, and everything. Yeah, yeah. And I looked at her and I said, you know, if they're that fucking scared, they can go with straight hair. <laughs> Hell with it. Yeah, and but- she said, well. You know, because the sister-in-law, when the sister-in-law showed up, she walked in the door and she said, "Where's my mask?" And Lisa was like, are you shitting me? Yeah. <laughs> and seriously, Lisa talks like that, too. So she, I'm sure she said that to her. Yeah. And probably a few other expletives. Oh, but she finally, she said, she said she got a little bit of her own back because she charged them each an extra $30 for their perms. Hey, <laughs> see? A, there is an extra... Ch- there's an extra fee for you being an asshole while I'm working on your hair. <laughs> no. You got to thank my people for crappy behavior like that. You know, punishment through finance. It's a Jewish thing. You know, I don't approve of it myself. Yeah. Well, I would have just tossed the. I would have just not not done the job. I don't, I don't think just because somebody's being fucked up, charging them more, and then dealing with them being as fucked up as they are. It just tortures me to endure something like that, so I, I'd pass on the whole thing. That's why I'm so successful in retail business right now. Huh. Man, because fuck them. Wear a mask. Strangle you with your own fucking mask, you idiot. Get away from me. Well. What? I, I, think, I think she probably is not going to be seeing those two. Again. No, she, I hope not. You no, know, yeah, she said, if no nothing else, this wonderful little COVID thing that shut her down for damn near a month until mm-hmm. she was allowed to reopen again. Mm-hmm. Actually, she wasn't allowed to allowed. reopen. She was, just, yeah. she was covertly having, you know, and she had people, you know, like <clears throat> park in her drive like, driveway like they were there to visit or parked on the other side of the street or some side. And so she was, mm-hmm. and bless her heart, 
you know, cloak so and could, dagger. Yeah. Hey, just, yeah. Yeah. To live in, in a free yeah. society. Yeah. Wow. That's but just sad. It is, mm. It's been very good because yeah. <clears throat> she's able to yeah. weed out certain people. Oh, yeah, yeah, that yeah. She no yeah. longer wishes yeah. to deal with. Wow. But see, you would, it, if this was a, a hurricane or an earthquake situation, the results would be opposite. People would be clinging to each other instead of finding reasons to fight. Oh, yeah. So, or finding reasons to tell you how you're such an uncare, uncaring shit uh, but, because you won't. Right. You won't be healthy for them. You won't look out for their health. That's ignorant. And, that's just totally well, oh, fucking ignorant. And one of them, one of her, one of her gals, yeah. she was telling me this gal was giving Lisa shit and saying, "You just don't understand. You need to care about my health as well." And Lisa said, "Well, you don't seem to mind, and you don't seem to care about my health because every time I walk in your liquor store, you're more than happy to sell me whatever I want." <laughs> That's right, because it's not good for people. Alcohol is a, it's an enemy of your body. It's just fun. Yep. It's sad that we get entertained by shit that's poisoned, to, you know, to us. But yeah. that's what we do. Like like any other animal on the planet, it just depends on what you play with, I suppose. Some things are safer than others. I recommend Sometimes. the greenery over the alkari. The alkari will fuck you up. The greenery will yeah. slow you down so you'll drive better. <laughs> Alcohol kills brain cells. Yeah, well, that's... Greenery does not. you got a lot of brain cells, so it's not like it... You know, yeah, but it's i got a few million to spare. Yeah, the, the impairment, though, is temporary. The physical shit, well, that's all depends on how, how much you do it, I suppose, would matter. True. So, eh, it's an individual thing, but I smoke daily. But I, I don't no. drink daily. No, no, no. That that would be too much. Sometimes I don't even go to the bar for two or three months. Just stop. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Oh, Whoa. Here's another one. Here's another one on the mask and on people's health. Oh, more masks. So, you want to post my brother, a link? My like, youngest brother link? posted this over on Fakey Book. Link. You want me to wear a mask to protect your health? Yeah. You want me to take a jog to help you lose weight, too? Which I think, yeah, let's put that out there. Let people understand. You know, and I understand this whole being your brother's keeper kind of thing, yeah. which is supposed to supposed to mean that you don't do anything intentionally to cause harm to another. But what they have done is they have taken that, but you're not being very good being your brother's keeper. Oh, yes, I am. I'm standing up for your right, too, even though you don't know it. I'm standing up for your rights as well. That is being my brother's keeper. So there. Well, whose brother do you want to keep? I'll keep the seven brothers that I have. I like them. Well, what exactly is keep? See, people take they take things um, too seriously. Yeah. I don't. Yeah, I don't think they have that. Uh, that ability to balance, and this doesn't make any sense. Why would anybody do this? This is crazy. As they tell you that they do that every day. When If they physically did that every day, then they wouldn't be talking to you because they'd be sick. And if you don't believe me, try it. See how far you can get with a mask on. No, oh, it won't be no damn five miles. you nuts. That's yeah. like saying, oh, I can breathe underwater. You know, I'm no, you can't. We're human. Not we have to some come up. Apparatus. Yes, we got to come up for air, people. So there, no, none of this trickery and bullshit. Just the reality of this. Well, it's uh. it's also like saying every mushroom is edible yeah. once. Yeah, once. There you go. Good point. But to be so easily convinced of all this bullshit. It's in, it's kind of insulting, is what it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I don't have anything left to really say about it that I haven't said a hundred times. It insults my intelligence, and therefore, yeah. you know, yeah. it's it's 
they've really taken the joy out of having a battle of wits with an unarmed person. I mean, you just plain, it's not fun anymore. It used to be, you know, and then, because a lot of times when you had those kind of little battles, mm. then, you know, you could, hi, Asma, welcome aboard. <laughs> hey, um, Asma. Not necessarily saying Asma <laughs> was an unarmed person, but <clears throat> in any case, it used to be fun to do that because you try and explain something to someone and you knew they would get it once it finally clicked. Yeah, but it never did. But it just wasn't clicking. It just wasn't clicking. Then all of a sudden you see the Acme light bulb go on over mm. their head and it's like, aha, now they got it. Now they see. But, you know, it's not even fun to do that anymore because you just – when the first thing out of the shoot from them is, well, you just want to kill grandma or you don't care about the kids. Oh, excuse me. I do care about the kids. That's why I'm against pedophilia and Hollyweird. <laughs> oh, well, now you're just being a conspiracy theorist. Okay. Well, there you go. There's two, two slams right there. I'm done playing. You don't get a third strike with me anymore. Well, that's the whole, so, Mary, that is the point <laughs> of a divide and conquer. Pick a side or don't. Well, and that's okay. why I just walk away. I am part of that walk away movement. It's a lot safer for me. I stay out of jail if I just shake my head and walk yeah. away. Yeah. If you want to believe stupid shit, yeah. you go right ahead. I'm going to be over there. And in, in, in a smaller community where people are more sane, it's turned around. The city's where all the wackadoodles are at. In the country, they might be a little bit slower but they seem to be able to add one and one together without a calculator or a phone. So, I'm going to go with the country bumpkin. There you go. Well, what do you think of that there, Miss Mary? Oh, and say hey to Wayne for me. <laughs> hey, Wayne. Because he's, he's out, not here right I know. Now. He's out there working. He's doing the working thing. Well, some people do, and some people do not. There you go. Yeah. Do you know that 95% of our work is done by 5% of the workforce? Yeah. And that is if you define work as being done correctly and on time. <laughs> so, you already know that. We can't argue about that. What can we argue about? Let me get my arguing notes and see what I've got written down in store for you, little missy. You oh, got okay. you got your thinking cap handy. <laughs> oh, I um, I saw something. No, I saw somebody else write this, uh, and it was so brilliant. I wanted to use it on the in a perfect world podcast. Yapping oh, okay. with you, little missy. You ready? Ready. Regulate your government. Sweet. Okay, but okay. you're a politician because of experience, not because of uh -huh. anything else. So. I thought you might like to yak about regulate your government. And how would you regulate your government? Where do you do it at? Actually, break down the words. Government is control the mind from the Greek. And when you regulate it, then that means that you kind of sort of put a governor on the connection between the brain and the mouth. Because, you know, you can think whatever you want to think. I mean, thoughts are free. Thoughts are everywhere. Some people actually even have a couple of them a day. I'm impressed. But it's governing your actions and your words just because it's running around inside your head. Now, I have to remind you all that I'm saying this as much for myself as I am for anyone else because I have a problem sometimes with regulating my thoughts and telling them you're not allowed to just run around like <laughs> crazy and fall out the mouth. Although sometimes they do. <laughs> but regulate on the on the massive scale, on the government as in national security government. No, 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 no. Because the reality you of... You can't, no, the, you can't regulate that. Yeah, the you reality is this local government, Mary, that you were in. And, and stop doing business with anything beyond cer certain levels of state. Beyond state, fuck it. Leave it to go. Don't do the federal anymore. Look, collapse it. Stop it. Quit feeding it. Well, it it will, yeah. 
it doesn't mess with you until it does, and but by that time it's way I, too late. I saw but, Trump threatening to use the military to deliver the vaccine, blah, blah, blah. Okay, first thing's wrong with that sentence is you don't use the United States military on United States citizen, but apparently there's some kind of shift in, in the power and things have changed. Well... I think there's an awful lot of wordplay going on myself. It's, I think it's a threat. Maybe, yeah. I'm, yeah. maybe I'm seeing an awful lot of wordplay just because I enjoy wordplay and I look for it. Yeah, you do that. Yeah. But I, I think there is an awful lot of wordplay going on. I, I don't think he's going to roll out the... Number one, I don't think the vaccination is going to be what everybody thinks it is. Okay, what does that mean? I personally think that the vaccination is going to be a wake up. It's going it's going to be one of those here's your dose of reality. Here is what's really going on. You know, and even if it's just him acting bombastic and all of this other fun stuff to get all of the little clingers on, all those Yes, they are a bunch of bangles. They're all just little turtles hand on. And and I think because I part of me thinks he is a very very intelligent person. Part of me thinks that he's so intelligent he can get away with a lot of shit, and so therefore not necessarily. The sharpest tool in the shed. It's it's hard to it's hard for people to understand that unless they've actually met someone that's really really so freaking super intelligent, you know, like an idiot savant. And there are idiot savants out there. And I really think he is just smart that he doesn't realize how dumb he comes across. <laughs> I really because you know some of the stuff I've been looking into, he really is a pretty sharp character, but. Mm -hmm. that, that can work against you in a lot of ways. Okay, and and that can be going said out about on Twitter and putting a lot of this shit out there. It can be said about me mm -hmm. as well. Yeah, I understand that's what, that. Okay. Anything can be said about anything. So, but with him going out and saying a lot of bombastic things on Twitter and rubbing salt in the wounds and all of that fun stuff, look at all of the craziness that's coming out against him. Did you know what Trump said? Did you know? It's the best freaking advertising ever. Even negative advertising mm, is still yeah, free yeah, advertising. Yeah. I understand that. So I think he's he's putting a lot of shit out there, even if it's extremely outrageous, if for nothing else, to plant a seed. Because there is child, there is human trafficking going on. Um, the country is being invaded, even if it's just mentally invaded with thoughts of socialism is the place you want to be. Fascism is wonderful. Communism is the best government in the world. You need to do this. You, vaccines will cure you. And, you know, he throws that vaccine word out there, and everybody goes, even Trump's for vaccines. Oh, my God, he's going to use the military. No, no. You are getting inoculated to your own stupidity because he's throwing this shit out there. Now, People may tell me I'm nuts. Uh, Go right ahead. Okay. I resemble that remark no. a lot of days. But I really honestly think that he's throwing a lot of these triggers out there just to get people to start talking about it. Because there are some that will wait, go, no, wait a minute here. Wait a minute. Did he really just say that? So, you know, sometimes, sometimes being the jester is the job you want to have and yet do not want to have. And I think he's playing that job or that role pretty well. Excuse me. He is being a jester. He infuriates the hell out of me. I, I'm not real crazy about the guy. Hmm. But I do think he's a pretty sharp individual. Hmm. Well, all I wanted to know was I thought maybe there was a way to regulate government at a local level that would just crush everything else. Just stop doing Yeah, there it. is. I mean, it, there is. Well, you get involved. That's how you regulate it. 
You, well, no, that ain't going to happen. It is See, in her face, and yeah. you tell them, uh-uh, ain't doing it. That ain't going to wash here. Yeah, but because they don't. You and you know where they live. Uh, yeah, but that's not the way it works. And you show up on their front porch, and you can say, listen, hmm. that's how you regulate government on a local level. Hmm. You go to the freaking meetings, and you tell them, no, ain't going to happen. Oh, yeah, and in small communities, those things pack a, a, a following. People go. Oh, yeah. They do, because that's where the money's at. People in business trying to get in politics. Oh, I'll tell you what. We had Small a gal politics. out here that um, mm. was on city council before I was, mm. and she got appointed. When she ran for city council, she lost. But wow. <clears throat> when when she was on city council, they were wanting to do a, a detour because they wanted to repave the, the highway that comes through town and down Main Street. And so she said, and I quote from the council minutes, we need to pave South 2nd Street because that goes by the highway. And let's face it, a better class, or goes by the golf course. And let's face it, a better class of people use that road. Hmm. Isn't she just adorable? Yes, she is. And you know what? Hmm. She had... I mean, damn near the whole town. Even the rich people went, oh, 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 no. You just threw us under the bus. We ain't having this. You think she kisses her mama with that mouth? <laughs> yeah, it was <laughs> well, I know. It was I, interesting. I, I, I have seen and heard a few good things in life, but not politics. That's your area. So... I thought of the propaganda report. Mm -hmm. Ah. Well, everything that I see regarding this COVID nonsense, outside of anything financial, right? The, all this masking and social distancing and whatever else. What, is there more to this shit? I forgot it already. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, you know, this COVID crap. Anyway. So, I'm... Yeah. Because uh, it's out of sight, out of mind. I got to read about it on the internet. Lucky yeah. me, I'm bragging there, little Miss Mary, because uh, some you how or another, I don't know. The people I live among are not insane; they're just older. And I would have expected when this thing started for these people to panic. No, they're walking hand in hand down the fucking street in the middle of the day. They don't give a fuck about no COVID. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Well, w how, how do people learn that? And then I, I look on the internet and I see a bunch of babies afraid of getting a flu. They want you to wear a mask because they're afraid of getting a flu. How pitiful is that? You know what's even more pitiful? Is, and my own governor, Yeah. although I can't say mine because I sure as hell didn't vote for her, but she's the governor <laughs> of the state of Kansas. Um, mandates masks in Kansas schools and awaits board's vote to start for the start of classes. Child abuse. So, yeah. Um, we can't afford to let those kids go in, get it, and carry it home to their families, according to Governor Kelly. They don't get it. This, the, the kids are no, fucking no. immune from all this shit. They're children. They get the colds. But they're not going to – they're little uh, kid colds. If a grown-up gets a little kid cold, it's not going to get you. You're a grown-up. You have stronger immune systems unless you're a weakling and you never get outside and in the sun or work or whatever it may take to keep your immune system going. Well, or you've had all of your vaccines. Oh, that'll kill it. Yeah, yeah you're, it, you're fucked. If you're, you're on, got it. Yeah, if you're on big pharma medicine for like high blood pressure, what are they, those trick ones up? The, or the, uh, what's that other good one they got? Diabetes. Oh, the, yeah. All the these. Statin yeah, oh, the statin drugs. Which yeah. your brain is like 67% cholesterol, people. Right, but we've talked about all these things over the years, so people know us, know where we stand on that one there. There's nothing to fight about there. Come on. I wanted to fight on the propaganda report. <laughs> 
Uh, work with me here, Miss Mary. Work with me. I'm trying. I'm trying. It's hard. It is I'm hard being to trying. It, it's hard to believe uh, that something so big could be so wrong all the fucking time, and always and always uh, an apology for it twenty years later to the people that are dead. So. Hmm? And you know what's crazy hmm? is all the. All of the craziness that they put out there, all of the fake nuttery, oh, my God, be afraid, be afraid, be afraid. Ah. All of that is out there. And then when they get called out on it and they actually have to admit they were wrong, Mm -hmm. because all the other stuff is big headlines, front Mm -hmm. page news, Mm -hmm. banners going across the bottom of your TV screen, all that shit. But once they get called out on it, once the proof comes out, once they can't back into a wall any farther because they're as far as they can get. And they have to actually step up and go, we were wrong. That is buried back in a little bitty two by three inch section in the classified section. Hmm. You know? Oh, yeah. That, that's uh, underneath that shit shows underneath up. the Jaguar cage between 2 and 3 p.m. on Tuesday. Yeah. yeah it's right we there for you. Well, yeah, but they'll tell you, oh, it was available to you. They just yeah. didn't tell you the we, fine details of that. We published it. Mm-hmm. We yeah. published our apology. And the, the and the birds really liked the paper. <laughs> and, yeah, mm-hmm. it's great for lining the kitty litter box too. So, do you like propaganda or do you not like propaganda? That's a double-edged sword as well. Okay, why? Because propaganda, mm-hmm. propaganda is like it's a mental challenge. You know, and I like keeping the gray cells exercised. And so, um, when I, when the, when stuff starts coming out, we'll just put it like that stuff. When it starts coming out, my brain instantly goes, okay, propaganda meter, get over here. You gotta get to work. And so, some of it, that's where you have to learn to separate the wheat from the chaff because they will sprinkle in just enough facts, but it's how they deliver it, and that's the chaff. Mm-hmm. So you have these lovely little kernels of truth, tr- lovely little kernels of fact, but you got a big old bushel basket <laughs> of chaff, yeah. and you got to find five or six kernels and uh, all, all that, that chaff. Good luck, yeah. And so, yeah, propaganda is, it's fun to nitpick it apart mm. and to start putting out there, okay, now, I will stipulate that, yes, this is a fact, this is a fact, this is a fact, this is true, this is actual, this is reality, mm. as we understand it right now in this realm. But all of this other blah, 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 yada, 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 uh-huh. that is just stuff and nonsense. Don't make a pillow out of it. You'll be sneezing all night long. Ooh, I got a Grammyism out of you, too. Hmm. Yeah. Wow. So that's basically propaganda can be fun, but when when more people start swallowing the propaganda, it's like, oh dear God, they have refilled the propaganda trough and they're washing it down with fool aid. Yeah, well, look at the fools. Have you ever but paid I, paid any attention to the few times I've mentioned that Fresco, the Jacques Fresco guy, had he had, had a real controlling vision of the future. And, and it was really well thought out, but it was very controlling in my opinion, right? <laughs> but the premise behind everything was, if we use the the best product known at the time, made out of the best materials available, then there wouldn't be any reason to have competition and shit like that. We'd just be expecting to get the best. What is... Yeah. Okay, now... Instead of that, what we have is this world of, well, these eight people get the best, and the rest of you people fight over a few of these. And, oh, yeah. And society is absolutely fucking okay to live that way. They have no problem with it. Doesn't, doesn't, uh, and if that, and if it, if it does do, uh, make them think, it usually is retold to us that they're communists. And Antifa and all this other shit, right? 
And I don't, I don't think the truth about who's behind what is being told to us right now. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, part of that is because I really don't know if anybody has figured out just exactly who is behind. It's like the left hand that doesn't tell the right hand what it's doing kind of thing. Well, it seems to me that the United States is in a very serious hmm, Seriously bad position in this time in history. Not particularly good one. Doesn't look like there's a future for... Uh, what's the point of electing Trump again? What more can he fuck up? I don't get that. <laughs> I mean, he had 27 cities burn. I mean, what? This is the leadership that you got. You want more of that. You might as well just kiss your country. Go south. I hear South America is looking pretty fucking nice right about now. Well, and I keep telling those that tell me, he's ruining the country needs to blah, blah, blah. If you don't like where wow. you're at, go somewhere else. Yeah, I understand that. But I am somewhere else. Well, and that's and you are a happy camper, and Fuck I'm, yeah, I'm okay yeah, with that. Yeah, I like yeah, where I live, yeah. and I happen to like the concept yeah. of being able to control what I put into my mouth or what I put into my body. Yeah. I like that whole concept of having the freedom to say, no, thank you. Oh, well, but you don't. Your, uh, your Lord Governor of Kansas decided for you in your stead. Against your will, too. On top, this is no negotiating. This is just fuck you. This is law. This is law. I don't know what this shit is. This is illegal, what they're doing. Yeah, it is illegal. And she's handing down all of these edicts. And mm. as soon as they make it to the Supreme Court of yeah. the state of Kansas, yeah. then she will get it handed back to her on her shit platter. Well, but see, they've got a just public. Just like she has with every other one. But the other nice thing is, you know, she can hand down all of these edicts on high, and basically it's the counties are opting in or opting out because home rule. And so she's telling the state of Kansas, I'm mandating, and the counties are going, fuck you, we're opting out. And most of the counties that have opted out I don't know the exact numbers, but most of the counties that have opted out are the counties that she did not carry in the election to start with. And those are the smaller populated counties. Now, she did carry around the Kansas City area. She carried around uh, the Topeka area, and she carried around the Wichita area. Those are the three big towns slash cities in Kansas. That's pretty much where her base is. And those are the ones that have the mask mandates. And I just saw this morning that Wichita is now uh, telling the bars that they have to close and you can't have gatherings larger than 15 people. It's, it's, it's like, it's, really? It's not about illness. No, it's not. It is about control. It's about exactly. telling you. Yeah. Your business does not deserve to wow. survive because we said so. Yeah. So what do you see? I mean, I see horrible things coming down the road here. And you seem like to be on a different path, if you will. <laughs> you don't see I the see, tornado that I see. You see something different. Maybe a heavy I rainstorm. I see storm clouds building. Okay. Yeah, I see a yeah. shitload yeah. of lightning. Yeah. And I, I can feel the wind. Yeah. But, but you're, I don't you're, know that out here we're going position. to hit with this. Be hit with this metaphorical tornado. Yeah, your position. Um, I on the... think that I think the larger population areas are going to be hit by mm -hmm. the metaphorical tornado. I yeah. think there's going to be. Yeah. I think it's going to be ugly. But I think it's just like when you have an inf an infected wound that you've kept a band aid over it all the time. You put a band aid on it. You put all this other. You got to keep it protected from the dirt and the germs and and the <laughs> air because, and you rip that bandaid off or you take it off slowly, however much pain you wish to deal with, and you expose 
that ugly, pussy, nasty, gross, infected wound Hi. to the light of day. And you let it get sunlight, you let it get fresh air, and it will heal faster. So I think that's that's pretty much what's going on now is is what's going on is the the pus coming to the surface. Oh, like a boil. <laughs> well, yeah. yeah, like a boil. And Lance had <sighs> that boy let it out. Ooh, what a metaphor to make on the in a perfect world program on a Tuesday night. But you'll you'll feel better later mm. if you just get the infection out. Oh. Get it out and let it heal. Okay. Well, I don't. I don't have anything to get out, but I'll keep it in. I'll. I'll make a note of that. Well, and I do think collectively society needs mm. to get all that poison out of its system, and perhaps that's why it's so ugly right now because the poison is coming out. Mm. I was telling Jose that if, if he uses the cold bean dip enema, that would cure everything. But I don't think he believes me. But I'm, I keep trying. Never know, you might convert another soul. <laughs> you know, they yeah. are doing uh, right. fecal transplants now. Well, sadly, you know, there are parts of your body that discussing them on In a Perfect World isn't really my thing. But there's. You've gotten really quiet, you know that? Did I? I yes, don't, you did. Have I? Have I lost And contact? I haven't messed with my, my volume, let so. Me, let me open up the Rocket Caster thing and. Give it a here. I'll give it a little touch. Ding. Uh, there you go. Am I still loud and and annoying? There, I Rob. Can, I can hear you. Rob said I never voted. Fuck you, Rob. You not voter. <laughs> you refuse to support the fucking killing machine called America. You bastard. Hmm? Grimmy says we sound fine. Hmm. Thanks, Grim. Uh, Did you know that that fecal transplants are really? Hmm. You know, and oh, they yeah, do them yeah, for yeah. for people that have a totally crashed um, yeah. intestinal bot, gut biome. That's the kind you know, like of poison you, if, available to us on the food market. Is we can destroy our own insides eating legal oh, yeah. sources and of food. Glyphosate is very good at that. That's actually what it's supposed to do because glyphosate is supposed to stop the digestive process and the reproduction process of you know the the whether it's weeds or or what have you it's supposed to stop them from from doing the whole process and that's what it does in your intestines and so people that have a totally crashed digestive system because of antibiotics or crappy food or whatever they get fecal matter from someone that's got a healthy digestive system and it's like an enema but it it repopulates their intestines with the healthy bacteria boy it gives it, being a farmer a whole new outlook doesn't it yeah well what are you farming you don't want to know huh yeah well well I yeah you just define planting some the bacterial biosphere and that's you know that's also part of why uh using cow manure yeah. And that kind of stuff for fertilizer oh. is so good because it rebuilds the bacteria in the soil that helps make the soil so good well, for your plants. I'm going to vote on that one. I'm not going to try it out to prove it. So that because that's what I think voting is is when you don't have the balls to do something, you vote on it. Let some mm -hmm. other fuck that you don't know let them go through it. But I'm voting on it for you. No, you're not. Yeah. <laughs> and then when you tell people and that, well, they go, what? You, they, yeah, you, I'm voting they, for they, you, they, and later I'll go and jog to help you lose weight, too. Sure. Yeah. Baby, I don't want to lose any weight. Uh, if I lose weight, I'd be, I'd get sick. I'm at the perfect weight. Don't, don't mess with perfect. <laughs> Hello. Well, oh yeah, yeah, women don't I, like the I, I old weight so. thing. Yeah, I'm thin. I'm, I'm probably a little thin too. I could probably add five or ten. Well, probably five. Ten would be too much. Well, what? farmer keeps telling me, hmm. you don't need to worry about losing weight. You're just <laughs> fine. You're just <laughs> fine. 
That's right. And I keep looking at him and going, honey, but after the accident, I gained 20 pounds. I don't care. You look just fine. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll share some with you. I won't lose it. I'll just give it to you. How's that sound? (laughs) Yeah, give it to you. Here, I'll let you borrow it. (laughs) Yeah. Just bring it back when you're finished. Well, no, you don't need to worry about returning it. But if you do return it, return it in better shape than when I gave it to you. So, you know, return it as muscle mass, maybe. I could take that. Because right now all I got is table muscle. <laughs> ah, I see. No, I'm. I am. I think I've probably lost ten pounds now that I can actually move again. Oh, Grammy says more cushion for the pushing. Oh, <laughs> uh, you've you've no doubt heard that <laughs> tasteless weight joke where you approach a female and you say, "Ah, oh, think you lost ten pounds." Then you go behind her and say, oh, no, I found it. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Talk about cold, huh? Hmm? huh? <laughs> Ooh. That is definitely taking your life into your own hands. Probably, yeah. I don't do things like that. I just think of them. And I have this, there you go. I have this radio thing. I can talk about stuff. I'm not hurting anyone. I'm not putting my hands on anybody's buttocks or anything of that sort. <laughs> at this particular time, <laughs> just bringing it up oh. as a pastime. What? <laughs> Last night when when we went a to hobby. bed, I I had brought an ice pack, you know, one of those gel cool packs mm. for lower back, and I was laying there on that, and I started giggling, and okay. Wayne looked over at me, he goes. What? And I said, Well this cool pack is really cold and it's 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 making my buns chilly <laughs> And he started laughing and I said, It's like I've got a frozen rump roast going on here <laughs> So So we're laying there laughing yeah. like crazy and then I went, Okay, now now what would happen if I should happen to fart while I got frozen rump roast? Is it just gonna be a <laughs> kind of sound? <laughs> Would it whistle because of the plastic wrap? <laughs> well, no. Would it? Would it just? You know, you got that that breeze going through too cold, and so it okay. they're too cold to go. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, we have some weird conversations. I know that. <laughs> and every time we do, he just kind of looks at me and goes, "That's why I love you." <laughs> You're, see, you get you get that water seeks its own level thing. Yes, I do. Yep. <laughs> Just go with the flow of life. Life has a plan if you just go with it. Yes, it does. Oh, did yes, I mention to you before the show about Cirque taking off, or did I do it on the show yes, already? Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Before or on the live? I think online, too. No, I... I think both. Okay. I didn't know if I'd mention that, because I was so proud of her. So she's she took the ferry. She's facing the most deadly virus known to mankind in the history of life. Life That's because she could get the corona. Zeno, she makes Xena Warrior Princess look like a little pussy girl. Yeah, but see, she went out there and she got on the ferry to go to the mainland to go to go to the house. And all yeah, took Hannah with her. Said, "Wow, the dog wow. and the wife, and they're gonna face the." dreaded corona they're not afraid well that's why she brought her little dog too (laughs) Hmm? she brought the little dog too i'll have you my pretty and your little dog too (laughs) (laughs) she'll be back tomorrow but they got the they got the house so they might as well use it i would oh yeah but this house is good enough so i like it when they come by here cool well, some people yeah. complain about, you know, the people that come by to visit them. <laughs> and I used to. I used to have people visit people that I was living with that I didn't care to have around. But that wasn't my problem. <laughs> you know? But I don't have that problem. So, But I've had it in the past. Where personalities clashed like shit and shinola. <laughs> Just made that up. <laughs> you did. You did good. You did good. Cause you, you and would, you know, I that actually clicked while I was reading yeah. Rob Work saying all through history you find 
You find out that there's always a bunch of assholes conspiring to do shit. And Rob, you, that's what assholes do. They dispense shit. Right. And the way they get away with it is they lie through the media. People don't have a clue to what's really going on. And then after the fact, they'll get the president to apologize for it on a video thing, and they'll bury it in YouTube. So it's there. And oh, yeah, we, we apologized. It's right there, Mr. Mr. Yeah, but he apologized yeah. for so many other things that it, get, it got lost in, in all his apologies. <laughs> you know, because the guy had his hand in everything. Let's just put it like that. Bill got around a lot. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yes, he Boy, did. it's a miracle he had any time to be the president. He was so busy with the females. Yeah. But well, if you've I seen him... I think that's why Shrillery thought it was her turn now. Oh, fuck all that. Because Have you seen Bill lately? Did. Pardon me? Have you seen, seen what like? Bill looks like lately? That man... Yeah. Age Yeah, you badly. can tell Ooh. most of his soul is gone. Oh. I mean, it was gone already, but... The, but Satan is collecting it already, and some so he's just yeah. a walking suit. Some people age with labor, you know that that leaves a, a harshness, okay. Uh huh. And some people just they go flush like, <laughs> like what's his name? Who was I just talking about? I get so lost. Clinton. Bill Clinton. Yeah. Well, yeah, the, his soul is being just pulled out of him as his meat suit is still walking. It's, it's fun to see this kind of in a way. Ooh, I must be like a, what do you call that, a sadist. I want to inflict pain and suffering on my fellow man. I'm not usually like that. Hmm. That's odd. But I think that Bill's one of the rarities that you can look at and say, yeah, he deserves every fucking thing he's got. I hope he's hurting, you know. Yeah. Yeah, well, um. his, his, the only good things they could say about his... His doings was the economy was good. <laughs> it was, was a lot of work. <laughs> this well, is, okay, but at, we're we're financial beings, Miss Mary. We're bound to their land by a deed. <laughs> some, yeah. some banker wants some fucking money, or we got to eat out of garbage cans. So we do these things. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. it's all because of a scam that we were convinced that we had to play this scam because we had to compete as opposed to cooperate. And it breaks up the family so that these other families will never have any competition. Yeah. Yep. Well, you want to hear something funny? Divide and conquer. Ha, ha, ha. What? Tell me uh, a joke, over, little... Oh. Over on Twitter. Hmm. Rooster posted, the Amazon store that was just looted the other day in Seattle has that automatic pay system which charges you as you leave the store. Apparently, several of the looters had the app on as they were stealing stuff and were charged for it. <laughs> I think that's funny. I, well, <laughs> it's ridiculous is what it is. You know, because none of this is real. This Every time we do a show, it just proves to me more and more that, yeah, this is make-believe. I don't, I don't get further away from the idea. I think I get closer to it. Yeah. Well, I just, I, this, this is why, because I, I understand what you put out into the universe is what comes back at you. So I'm trying to wean myself from wishing harm on another. Mm. And instead I just say, may you receive everything that you so richly deserve and everything that you have worked for and earned Ooh. all your life. Wow, yours is worthy. You know, well, but when you put that out there, yeah, then then it's very, it's very you know, calm, mm. very serene, very sedate. May you receive what you earned. Mm. I'm going to regulate. What you deserve. I'm going to regulate your government instead. <laughs> well, you just go ahead and do that. <laughs> That's the point I've been trying to make. That is how ridiculous politics is to me. Is if I tell you I'm going to regulate your government, so 
is your response because it's ridiculous. You're not going to do anything. We're, we're making a joke. But at certain levels of society, the, the vibration of belief changes, I think. Mm-hmm. And then when you get us in a cluster, then they're vibrating like a bunch of fucking, you know, dildos, basically. And it can't be yeah. stopped. It gets, it gets a life of its own and takes over itself. And then you get things like people supporting idiots like Trump or Joe Biden as president of the world's biggest country bullshit nonsense. Anyway, but if Trump fucked it up to this point in just three and a half years, I mean, how much more shit could he do in four? In another four, you might be working for the Polish uh, but, I don't think so. What well, What do you foresee for all this crap? It's horrible. I don't. I don't see that you have a sitting government. Nothing is happening except for the exaggerations of this freaking hoax about a coronavirus. Uh, and I've said that I think it's all to just distract you from that. It's a financial crisis. They can't hide these oh. things, so they're going to distract you with a different version of the story. So you get told a certain way to, to the end result is still going to be, hey, where'd the food go? Yeah, well, I will, I will, yes, definitely agree that it is a distraction. All of this shit is a distraction. It's working. Yeah. You have sitting governors right now making fucking life decisions based on a hoax and getting away with it because most of the people that they that support them don't know it's a hoax. They really... It's a war of the worlds right here. In modern day, we're watching it happen. And then Pete, and they get told, you're being lied to. This isn't real. And they still, they hold on to it. Yeah, well, it might be. <laughs> wearing a mask. Well, it's and it's like um, Larkin Rose said, it's the fear. It might be. Yeah, yeah. I see it. I understand it. I just don't give a fuck. <laughs> I ain't afraid of it. Give me the damn. Give me the flu. I'll take some more vitamin C and some zinc and I don't know. Have have Cirk make me some chicken soup. I bet she makes some good Danish chicken soup. Be like juice Get soup. You some- only with chamomile the, tea. Yeah, instead of the Jewish power, it would be Danish power soul soup. <laughs> when you're sick, because mm-hmm. when you're sick and you get somebody that cares about you and they make you chicken soup, it's, it's, mm. it's like yeah, it's like a religious ceremony. Yeah, hmm? they they ain't nothing like homemade chicken soup. And you always get better after you eat it. So you're sick before, oh, yeah. this is the coincidence of the whole thing. You're sick, and then you eat the soup, and then you're not sick. You go, wow, I'll bet there's something to do with eating that soup. <laughs> yeah. No, it was the doctor when he gave you the shot. That's what made you feel better. Oh, yeah, the after. After you were already feeling well enough to think you might want to Voyage into the doctor's office because I tell you, I I didn't go to the doctor's office when I was sicker and shit. Hmm. Okay. What? Mainly because I didn't feel like going to the doctor's office. But then you go to the doctor's office huh. as you're starting to recover because it's like, man, I come down with and I'm feeling and I'm starting to and they give you something and huh. but you don't want to go in the doctor's office because there's sick people in there. Hmm. Kind of like. <sighs> I don't like I know sick it. people. Well, I try to stay away from sick people, but I, I do, I will help sick people get to where they're not sick people. Well, if I actually look at my own history and compare my t- illness when I was ill, wasn't uh, particularly uh, a good mental state of time, you know, where I was doing well things it seems like when i got ill things were already bad somewhere make sense uh-huh. or not you know, uh-huh. not, not co- like no coincidence to it it's like almost like a formula 
But you see it if you have, you know, we, we have hindsight. We can look back at things we did, how they happened, analyze them, and weigh them out and balance them, and compare them and all this fun stuff. So sometimes I do. <laughs> oh, okay. Not with everything. I don't, there's some things I compare and there's some things I just accept whatever they are. And don't, uh, don't put them up on a value thing, you know. This is a nine and this is a four. I do that with money. Things that are, they're forced on me. If I don't do them, I can't survive. So I do them. But I don't do them out of choice. Mm. Mm. Okay. Oh, we got uh, cucumbers coming, growing out in the backyard, ripening already. Sweet. So she got to take some fresh grown cukes to the dinner that they're going to make tonight. Oh, they probably already uh-huh. made it. It's 1030. Probably. But I would imagine. I couldn't chat with her on the wire and do the radio at the same time. So, oh, poor baby. Uh-oh. I told her. I, she knows I have radio at nine. But wives... <laughs> well, that's what we, you know, we we got the license to be able to intrude on the other guy whenever we fucking please. <laughs> we signed the contract, yeah. bucko. <laughs> you don't don't like the contract? Get out of it. No, nope, not staying in the contract. So there you go. But shit comes with that. You did the contract. Take it serious or don't. Some people yeah. don't, or some people take it so serious they take it to the negative. Yes. Then, yeah, you start balancing and weighing things out and judging. Then it gets all nasty. So you know what I like to do? What? Nothing. Just let things be whatever the fuck they are and try not to let it bug me. But sometimes it bugs me. Not all the time. Well, and see, sometimes I see people take that contract like, Hmm. ah, so you're married to me now. Now you have to put up with my shit. And they have a tendency to dish a lot of shit and say, but you married me, so you have to put up with it. You're, you're, and it's like, oh, no, 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 no. It's not supposed to work that way. It's not supposed to be a one way you dispense the shit and I just have to shovel it and put it somewhere. No, no. Mm. But there are some people that definitely. Oh, yeah, I've got an idiot detector, Miss Mary. I actually wish I could market it. But it would I, be nice. You know, it'd well, be like if I could market my mental etch a sketch, which I'm still perfecting, but it's it's also recognized as a state of paranoia in the uh world. <laughs> ah. Yeah. Well you, it's not really paranoia if they really are out to get you. Well, it's not so much anybody out to get me. It's more people that have Bad intentions stick out amongst the crowd to me. I see them. Yes. So they can't hide. Boom, I see them right there. Ooh. And then when they act, I go, oh, you prick, you actually did that. Hey, look at this. And Mm -hmm. mm, it's a terrible gift. It goes no fucking where, but I've had it for my whole life. So I'm going to finish life with it. (laughs) Good. Yeah, but it doesn't go anywhere. It's just like a, like breathing, you know, something I do. Ah, so well, it's one of those innate traits that you had, huh? Yeah, because I can control my breathing at will, but I can't control my thinking. Thinking controls me, takes me where it goes. And go, oh, wow, I didn't see that. <laughs> How cool. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. What, what? Impressive. Well, I'm just I'm just going along and just listening because my brain is now going. Okay, we have figured out that we're going to have all of this input because things are lined up properly, and so mm. my brain has finally settled down. So I'm just going. Mm. Well, <laughs> I was on a rant about contracts, and I ended it with and being rewarded because that's what you do a contract for. You're gaining. Yes. You're gaining something. Otherwise. Why would you bother? Why enter the contract? Exactly. Yes. So, but once you're in it, then it's easier to uh, bend the rules that you got into it with. 
Some folks are good at that. Others, yeah. not so. Ah, me. Ah. I'm a grouch. I was born a grouch. People know I'm, I'm sarcastic and cold-fingered and all that. So it it works. I do it. <laughs> it's like yeah, a tra- Yeah, it's like a trademark. See, and I don't know that it's some, and I, yeah, there are some people that, that bend the rules, but there's also some people that, um, they don't necessarily bend the rules, but they most definitely push the envelope. Yeah, well, I got a crazy wife, right? She was planning mm-hmm. to grow these vegetables where, where they're growing, and uh-huh. she had me coming out there and moving this and helping her put this there, and that, and it, Behind my back, she's out there with a saw cutting this huge branch off the tree. And I'm sitting in front of the game playing something or whatnot. And I hear hear my name. So I'm not expecting any big drama. And I can't see. I wear reading glasses. So I'm getting out there and and I see this. She's underneath a tree branch. (laughs) That's about as long as the both of us are tall. So then I got to. And I, I'm like, okay. So you never know what she's going to do out there. She's crazy. So in other words, you just don't let her go out there by herself. No, I don't never Especially stop if she her. Has a tool. No, I, I don't, I don't encourage it. I just don't try to control it. Just be available ah. for if something goes wrong because she doesn't plan her attack very well. Ah. See, you know, there's stages. I, I'm a slower worker. The circle do it in five minutes. It'll take me 20 to figure out a nice, clean way to do it to not fuck everything up doing it. Should just fuck everything up doing it. Aha. Uh-huh. Yeah. Or and then try to stop the branch from falling. After you see, I, it's the opposite. Impulse and planning are two different methods. Yeah. So when you put the two of us together on one thing, whoa, <laughs> gets covered from all sides. Ah, see, that's teamwork. Contract. Well, being we rewarded, uh, the rewards of the contract outweigh the impositions of it. And then on top of the whole fucking thing, I get blessed with this freaking global hoax. About a coronavirus. It's like, it couldn't have been a, it's like a gift from Mort. (laughs) It's the gift that keeps on giving. It's giving. That's their story. They're giving you advice. Pay no attention to the taking away of your, your liberty. They're giving you advice. Well, in the immediate area, there's no enforcement to enforce anything. So we're still the same community of old codger dodgers and young people that were here before. So nothing really changed. Well, you know, in the grand scheme of things, really they cannot enforce unless the people want it. Yeah. either allow it mm-hmm. or do a lot of self-enforcing, as in policing yeah. each other. Which well, is another part of that whole, well, the government, it's a law. It's the mm, rule. Yeah, you should yeah. listen. Here it was I'm all gonna, voluntary. I'm yeah. telling mom, yeah. nanny state government, do you know what he's doing? <laughs> wow. You know, that's how it works. I know. I, I'm aware of that. And and I think the, the place I'm living presently has got a horrible reputation because of their tax structure. So that you know, they get treated like, you're a communist country, blah, blah, blah. I, I don't know. I heard a lot of things over the years being married to Zurich on the Internet. Oh, yeah. But I think it's a national socialist country. I'm not positive. But, you know, they've got in, in their government, they represent a lot of different tribes of Danes. So it's yeah. not as black and white here as it is in, in the States. Yeah. Mm. Well, and you know, some sometimes socialism light is better. Uh, no, it isn't. Never mind. I don't Never know. <laughs> am, am I? But am I not? I'm not living any differently here in Denmark than I did when I was in Scotland, 
or Canada or Mexico or America, any state in America I lived, the same situations, you know, uh, so indoors. In words, no matter where you, there you are. But I mean, every, everything's basically the same. You have, we have indoor plumbing and electricity and running water. And people have a have a, a little garden to, to go out and get a little sunshine, grow some vegetables, and that that's the lifestyle I've lived. Nothing real ostentatious, just com- comfort. So I think you. Well, there you go. But I think you draw these things to yourself with the decisions you make. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, there and I and also the go, how it goes with the contract is. Well, Cirque gave up Copenhagen to have the country. So, but still has relatives in in Copenhagen, places to go stay when she wants to go visit. So she didn't really lose anything. She really gained. She gained a. Uh, <laughs> she gained the ability to travel when the world's in a lockdown and people are wearing masks. She's running around with a dog, taking a ferry to the mainland, like a normal person. There you go. Well, some people don't have it so good right now, especially like England. Oi. Yeah, England and Ireland and oh. Have you uh, seen those videos the guy does? Uh, was this Coleman? Uh, he the old guy in a chair. He's an English fella. And he he. Uh, I have seen one. Uh, I think it's called okay. uh, "Who's Pulling the Strings." Probably, but he does a video just about every day. He's waiting to get uh, dumped off the YouTube. But he's got a website, and and he's really, he's been a writer for a long, long time, but he's so uh, slapped in the face with all this stupidity about the the corona hoax, what this is. There's not a lot of people that are willing to get on the radio and talk out loud. These people are doing it, so... I think it's kind of cool to pass on the message. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because we got a little following of our own over at like BitChute. Different places Grim puts us out. We get a little crowd that catches our show. So every once in a while, even me and you say something that, hey, I didn't think of that. Or I might want to look. Check that out. Or other times we're just <laughs> funny as fuck. Uh yeah. We, we've had yeah. those moments. Where you, well, you make me laugh, and then whether you're funny or not, it's I guess that's just on me. But, but, well, I am glad I bring entertainment to your life. And pot is still illegal. See, this is how you know you live in a failed society. That pot legality is an issue at all, period. There you go. Whoop, oh. uh, this society is not worth the fuck. So, and I'm saying that about the society, the society I'm in, but on the other hand of it, the people I live amongst and pass daily, some of them openly smoke. Yeah. I've had people hand me chunks <laughs> on the way. I'll be going to the grocery to go get dinner or whatnot, and, hey, come here, try this. <laughs> Holy fuck. So, you know, it, it's how they allow you into the to the neighborhood. They recognize that, yeah. you, you know, well, yeah, without that, I'd be just gone. I wouldn't be long here. Well, but see, it's you still did, illegal. You have a tendency to vibrate and, mm-hmm. and get where. Mm-hmm. Water yeah. seeks its own level, Mary. I'm telling you, it's just a basic, it's like talking with Larry. Larry would probably be able to explain it. <laughs> But, well, yeah, we, we just were drawn to uh, our own kind, so to speak. And it just, it in this time when uh, so much bad shit's going on, I'm just really kind of lucky to be where I'm at. Well, there you go. Always ready for the government to drop the, uh, you know, do something stupid, though. Because uh, there's rumors about, uh, they're talking about making people wear masks in the winter time now. Come in uh, oh, yeah. cold season. Yeah, but no. Nah, nah. Yeah, but you know what? In the winter time, when it's colder and hobbly hell, I usually have a scarf wrapped around my face anyway. I so thought, it's yeah. like, okay, fine, I'll just wear a scarf. Fuck you. I, yeah, I thought about that. That would be a good way to, 
to back it up because when you're in the store, you're going to take the fucking thing off your mouth so you can breathe. <laughs> yeah. Nobody's going to challenge that. I can't breathe with that. Crazy? I'm in the store. It's hot in here. So, yeah, yeah but on the other hand, I don't see I don't see in this area the local people actually taking it to that level where it's forced. It'll be uh it'll be at your own discretion. Yeah. If you're afraid, wear a mask. If you're not afraid, don't. If you get the COVID, fuck you. Okay? I'll take that bet. That's the bet I'll take right there. Well, and yeah, and I'm still if alive. Already wearing, if they're already wearing a mask because they're afraid, yeah. and I'm not wearing a mask yeah. because I'm not, aren't they already protected anyway? Of course, it's along the same lines as the vaccine. <laughs> if you've been vaccinated and you are now immune, yeah. according to the doctor, then why are you worried about if I get sick? Because you're immune. Or does that mean your vaccine, you doubt the <laughs> effectiveness of your vaccine da, and you're da, da, doubting da. the mask? So you want us double masked and double vaxxed. It's a, it's a complete misunderstanding of what's going on is what it is. Well, there's, there's shit going on that has nothing to do with the virus that it does have. I really think it has something to do hmm. With something going on that is not seen by the general public. Well, whatever this is, it's not what they're telling us. We know that from experience. If you can't handle that well, that one sentence, that then uh, you know you're not listening to this show. Because <laughs> as we all know, I mean, you can't deny this. Every freaking 20 years, you find out what you learned 20 years ago was a bunch of crap. <laughs> happened, but that's not quite how that happened. What? Yeah. <laughs> Do tell. And then they unroll this fucking list. And it's got hundreds and hundreds of examples on it for you to read. So, how can a man read, or woman, sorry ladies, how can anybody out there in... Radio Land, actually read any of the stuff that is true and not read it and understand it as that's really the truth. They seem to read it and go, ah, that's a bunch of crap. That's my, that's well, my, my in, intake, you know, it's what I'm seeing as a result of people will post links all day long on the reallibertymedia.com. It's a liberty-based uh, site. It's where people with liberty minds would hang out. But, life being fair sent voters that don't agree. So we've got that balance of people that are both for the system, and then there's a group of us that want the system to go find a long, hard flush. Go away, oh. Don't come back, oh, again, oh. But, what would you replace it with? Absolutely fucking nothing. Zero. Deal with your own shit in your own area for a fucking while. See, and that's that's where nature abhors a vacuum. And you say that, but I don't know. Am I a vacuum? Am I being abhorrent? What are you saying there, little missy? I could be, I could be saying that vacuum. I I don't. Maybe I'm just saying that it sucks. And, oh. and nature doesn't like things that suck. Oh, you didn't say all that. <laughs> Make it simple for the layman once in a while, please. And then so things Talking. get sucked into wherever, so once it gets filled... Yeah. It no longer sucks. Yeah, but when you're uh, talking all those like fancy scientific ways, it just makes my head hurt. I know. You know. I know. It makes uh, your tumor bleed. A little bit. I yeah. have yet to <laughs> see video evidence of your tumor bleeding. Not that I necessarily want to, it's, but... It's a Jewish term. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, so it's not real. It's... No. Okay. no. Oh, come on. I'm just... Uh, I'm just having a little fun on the radio with some words. I was just thinking, bleeding tumor. I don't know if I want to know about this, because maybe that bleeding tumor is like, no, I don't want to know Be a good name for a band. 
Bleeding Tumor? Yeah. What kind of band would they be? Bleeding Tumor Live. <laughs> Never mind. Mm. Hey, you know what? George Carlin said it to you. Nail two things together that have never been nailed together before. Some idiot will buy it from you. <laughs> it's true. I'm going to go nail some jello on a tree. <laughs> Nobody's ever done that. Come on. I know. That's why I'm going to do it. Then I'm going to take a picture of it and say, see, I nailed jello oh, to a tree. Oh, picture. Whoa. So now, I have photographic evidence. Yeah, we we can do some pretty fun things with you know photography now that they couldn't do in like 1969, 1963, you know those times in history. Those times way back. Mm. Yeah. And look at what a shitty job they did with the cameras that they did put in in the, like the last forty years. Whenever they needed them to work, they always fail. I know. Well, God, that's that's got to be very now, quinky. Dude. Yeah, but when Paco grabs a necklace off the Jewish woman waiting for a train, that's on video. They find that. But bomb a fucking government building with an airplane, nobody saw anything. <laughs> <laughs> Reporting live on the crash site. Where's the plane, John? Well. Shut up, Steve. <laughs> Live at the crash site, but there's no crash site. There's just a bomb site. <laughs> yeah. It was yeah. pretty bad, but they caught a lot of people. <laughs> people. Oh, yeah. And they did it out. They did, Where else, too? They did it in the country. They had this big hole in the ground with no plane. <laughs> we're, we're, but, but passports. We got passports. Well, no you know, play wreckage. I, <laughs> Never mind. I have ah. to admit, what? when I first heard the news mm. on the radio, oh, yes. it was like, ah, oh, dude, that <laughs> just totally sucks. <laughs> and then I saw the f- video footage, and it's like, what? Um, no. What you are telling me does not match what I'm seeing. One of these things is not like the other. So, yeah. Where does it leave you to go? You know what I mean? you got to make up your own yeah. mind. But, yeah, I think it's a lot of fun to be part of a herd. <laughs> there must be a magic appeal of some kind or another to belong to a group of people that you don't even know. And all these people ever do is destroy other people's lives in other countries and take advantage of the people's lives of the people that live in the country they're working for. <laughs> so it's a it's a big old cluster fuck and the smaller the cluster, the less fucking you have to handle. That's what I think. There you go. I've spoken <laughs> But you know, some people li- some people like being bent over a table once in a while, and you know, to have their account serviced. They they don't mind the imposition. Of, hey, oh, this is all it's going to take. Okay, some of us are not so giving. <laughs> no, we're not going to let you do that today or tomorrow. But they'll bring back guns. Donuts. Guns, oh, no. guns, oh. enforcement. Oh, well, people will sorry. take shit from My... you, and they'll all be dressed up in costumes that look like they belong in a fucking super superhero movie, and they'll drive up right onto your property and do you harm. And they get paid for this by the people that you elect to run your government. So, wow, get me the fuck out of that. Is what I said, and it happened. <laughs> there you go. Mm-hmm. I must have been like, uh, I don't know, thinking way ahead of my time or something. No, I wish I was that smart. I should start backtracking. I'll do a Hansel and start telling people how brilliant I was back in 2011 and foresaw this happening. <laughs> Left America never to return. <laughs> 
No, I won't. Remember do that. way back <laughs> in the day. <laughs> Crying out loud. I don't think I've I, I don't think I've planned on anything more than the day I'm in forever. I just today. Whatever today is that's how I do it. Today Sir went go. off to with the dog to go uh, off on an excursion and, and live a little bit. So I said, Shit, fuck yeah, go. Go have some fun. And she's you know, got the uh She's got the family that, that has these things, so I think, well, they're going to invite you, might as well go. Why not? I did. <laughs> now I don't. Mm. Well, I've retired. I'm, I'm a retired old geezer, Miss Mary. thought you knew that. <laughs> I did know that. Mm. I want my retired old geezer status, baby. <laughs> mm. I think I'm going to grow me a Billy Gibbons beard. That had to really there fuck you go. everybody up. <laughs> Santa Claus. <laughs> so anyway, I just anyway. lost my mind. I'm back. I don't know. I took. That's a, okay. You just you go right ahead and you just lose I, your mind. We're at the it's end of our in a perfect world, and thanks a whole lot for doing this crazy stuff. Because me and Vinny started this, and then me me and Vinny just had I we parted ways, <laughs> but. Well. I didn't want to not have a show for Grimm, because there's a lot yeah. of armchair quarterbacks that have a lot of opinions about radio pro podcasts, but there's a, only a few people that got the nut to do one, like uh, z Picks and Prince. They do a show on Saturday after the dork table in the evening. Yeah, I listened mm-hmm. to them the other day. Yeah. And it was like, oh, hey, I finally get to listen. And I think I'd seen a link. I saw a link in the Real Liberty Media page on Facebook and clicked it. And it's like, oh, yeah, that's right, these guys. Yeah, I want to see what they're all about. And it was, I enjoyed it. Then Grim, Grim's doing a new show on Monday night. Well, it's not new now. Yeah. He's got in his ex- episode four. He numbers them. But the well, way. Well, that's because Grim is organized. Yeah, but what he's opened, he's opened a can of worms kind of thing that no matter what the topic is, it's connected to so many things, it's hard to decide where to start. (laughs) Next next week he's doing, uh, he said, uh, Kennedy, John Kennedy. So that could be fun. I'm going to, I'm going to check it out. Anyway, there's a, there's a a schedule on the reallibertymedia.com main page. If you want to check out the shows that are available for your listening perusal. <laughs> How's that? Well, huh? you sound so professional when you say that. Yeah, I was trying to. That was the goal. See, it's all about the vibration, Miss Mary. Mm. And so when a, when a woman calls you a... Never mind. I ain't going to say it. I'm backing out of that bad joke I was just going to tell. At the end of In a Perfect World where the world is perfect. In our minds. And that's okay. That's okay. Where else does it exist beside there? Think about it. You know, I I think it does exist, but it's because it's a collective mass delusion. Right. So avoid the... Avoid the collective. We've all agreed. Yeah, avoid the collective. They're crazy. You yeah well, they they are know, even the, uh, they are but you know Nuts. you got to learn to pick and choose you got to judge you got to cast your judgment judge Uh-oh. not lest ye be judged Uh-oh. but go ahead and cast your judgment upon mm-hmm. other people and you just distance yourself from the ones that y'all are uh-huh. y'all are a special kind of nut job over there and I'm gonna stay away from you I like these whack doodles over here. <laughs> so. That must be us. <laughs> I think we've been called wackadoodles once or twice. I don't mind. I'm kind of pre- used to I it. much prefer wackadoodles to nut jobs. Oh, yeah, that's kind of, yeah. It's got that sexual innuendo there when you say jab. <laughs> like it, like it, like it. <laughs> oh, Miss Mary, what a tangled web we weave. When we do yes. terrible things to Earl and Steve. 
And I think that's about... It was Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve, all you people. Okay. Thanks, that's everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, y'all, for sticking around and playing along and all that fun stuff. See you. Love you. Bye.